design of concrete structures. Let's uh, solve a problem in, in nominal moment capacity calculation of a section. Calculation of M sub N. In this problem, we do have a condition that we have a cross section, rectangular solid cross section with a tensile rebar in the bottom of the section. Dimension is equal, D is equal, effective depth is 18 inches and width of section B is 10 inches. If F prime C specific strength of concrete is 5000 pound per inch squared and FY yield the strength of steel is 40,000 pound per inch squared. We want and, and the area of, of, of tensile rebars is also 4 inches squared. We want to know what is the nominal moment capacity. So first of all, based of F prime C, we need to jump to the table for beta and, and choose our beta. For example, for a, a like 5,000 F. 5 ksi or 5000 pound inch squared beta is equal to 0.8 so the very first step in every concrete problem is is as soon as you step in in concrete problem either analysis or design it's a checking of row minimum available row should be higher than row minimum So that's the very first check we need. And row, row minimum, uh, density of minimum for a steel based of ACI, American Concrete Institute, is, is a maximum, row mean is a maximum of these two parameters. So it just says if F prime C is less than 444, 4,444 PSI. We just go with this part of equation. So that goes with 200 over F5. That's the controlling term. The second part of this equation controls. And if F prime is bigger than 4444, is, well, the section is controlled, row minimum is controlled by the first part of equation. So definitely all case is F prime C is equal to uh, 5,000. It's higher than a second part. So this is the controlling part. So this part is the controlling part. F prime is equal to 5,000. And so this one, this one controls. So base of code row minimum is equal to three times the square root of prime C over F5 and available row is a density so row minimum if you calculate it or replace in the equation a three times square root of 5000 F prime C over F5 which is 40,000 and available row is AS over area of ST which is provided 4 inches squared over B times D just gives us a point 0.022 and that should be higher than row based of ACI code and our first check for row minimum it, our, our, our problem is, is meeting the requirement of minimum requirement for a state of ACI code then we just move to solve the problem the second part is calculation of height of this block and Summation of forces goes zero, steel yields, and, and also it just gives us what A is. A is area of steel times Fy, As times Fy over 85 percentile of, we just uh, simplify this equation. That's 40,000 over 5,000 is equal to 40 over 5 times bits of the section, which is 10 inches. It just gives us A equal to a 3. 0.76 inches and definitely C 
distance to neutral axis is a bit higher than A, and the relation between it means height A and C is just C is equal to A over beta 1, which is we already see in the table, that's point A. And it just gives us a distance of neutral axis to from the top of the section to neutral axis is equal to 4.7 inches. As soon as we have the uh, neutral axis D and C, we can easily replace that in the equation for moment, nominal moment is area of steel times F5. So any moment, any kind of moment is equal to force stress times area stress sigma times a is force times r which r, r is if this is a r r is d minus a over 2 d minus a over 2 is the arm of our force to create the moment. So moment is a AS4 times FY is 40,000 times D is 18 minus A over 2, which is we already calculated A to be 3.76 over 2. And if you just divide it by 12, which is inches, each 12 inches is equal to every 12 inches is equal to one feet and then by 10,000 to report it like a kilo it just gives us a nominal capacity like 214.93 kilo pound feet and and phi times mn which is design moment or mu ultimate moment that's 100 that's 0.9 feet if it's ductile when 9 for flexural member is multiplied by nominal moment and just gives us a design moment, ultimate moment, which is 193.4 kilopound feet. And we just need to check the ductility of section to see if we are allowed to use this fee or not. So the last part is in any concrete problem, our, our problem is great number. A, 40. So for 40, we just need to check the ductility of the problem, and that's C over D should be less than 0 0.406. And this relation also comes from which I showed you in the previous table, and it just comes from the a similar triangles calculation, and it just gives us C is already 4.7 over 18 which is effective depth and that's 2.261 which is definitely less than 46.046 and just says the ductility check meets the requirement of using fee reduction factor of 9 for flexural member thank you we'll solve more problem so our our design is our analysis is safe and we can report nominal moment, design moment, like what we need for the rest of the design, for example. We'll solve more problem analysis of section. Thank you.